All right, guys, it is a beautiful day, and I hate saying I have time to waste because that's one of our discussions today is time, um, but welcome to What's Up Wednesdays with your host, me, Roman Siobhan, uh, and 3 to one Kiteboarding, of course, hosting the beautiful location. You can see all the cool stuff and toys behind me. We got toys. We got our Neil Pride mannequin guy playing a, a waterproof ukulele. You gotta love that. Um, but yeah, so welcome to another Wednesday. It seems like just seven days ago that I was sitting in this very same spot talking to you guys about basically uh, all my weekly stuff. So since then to now, what have I done? Um, a lot of teaching on the water, uh, some really cool days here in Florida, beautiful sunshine. And that's really about it. So let's get right into the meat and potatoes. I'm going to try to keep this about five minutes for you guys. Um, just a real quick, fresh Wednesday, uh, you know, outlook, I guess. So um, one of the things we're going to go over is being <laughs> time management and being kind to others. And uh, what prompted that, uh, first, then we'll, of course, do our product highlight. And then, of course, we'll do a, a nice close and maybe another song, you know. I know you guys like seeing me dance. But... Um, one of the things, uh, you, just yesterday, and if I'm a little stuffed up sounding, it's probably just uh, left over from yesterday, I was uh, helping a friend move who owns cats, and I am highly allergic to cats. And it didn't bother me because uh, I was helping someone and they needed my help, and I can deal with a little inconvenience. That brings me to kiteboarding. In kiteboarding, one of the coolest things about this sport for most people, um, other than you know flying and looking cool and you know all the other stuff we do, um, is the community. So you guys. And part of the community with kiteboarding is helping other people. So just this is just me just proselytizing to you. Um, next time you're on the beach and you see someone looking confused, walk over, introduce yourself, say hi. We all pretty much look the same when we're in bathing suits, but you never know. That person could be your next surgeon or your lawyer or your car mechanic or whoever, uh, your postman. Um, so number one, it's nice to say hi. Number two, you never know when a helping hand is needed. And that goes doubly for doing things like, I don't know, helping launch a kite, helping land a kite, seeing someone struggling on the water. Um, just recently, uh, we, we had a couple of events at our local spot, the 520 Slick, where people's leashes and or chicken loops just decided to kind of spontaneously combust and their kites headed downwind offshore. And of course, you know, kite borders to the rescue. We came along and dragged their kites back to them and. Um, got some cool video of, of a certain someone riding with two kites, pretty amazing. And uh, so it's nice. Help your fellow man. In today's day and age, we're going to need more of it. And it's just good to be a friendly kiteboarder. Uh, so that was, my, that was my weekly tip to everybody. Uh, one of the things I love is our product highlight. And it's because it's stuff that I sit around all day long with. And sometimes I forget to tell you guys all the cool stuff that's out there. And as far as progression goes, um, I know I think on episode one I talked to you about reading a magazine to get some stoke. And it's great to get stoke and see stuff. And I remember when I started kiteboarding, I'd read the magazines and the, the stuff was like not even applicable to me, you know, king of the air, even though it wasn't back then. But, uh, you know, things that I wasn't doing yet, I liked reading about it, it got me excited, but it didn't help me at all. So when it comes to progression, you know, definitely don't skip, pick up. By the way, if you see everything's backwards, I honestly can't figure out this Facebook Live forward facing camera thing, so bear with me until I, I get it fixed. Everyone's just kind of read backwards. So, uh, Progression. The Progression series is a really good series of kiteboarding instructional videos that uh, breaks it down to you. One warning if you're not a very detail oriented person, you're going to want to hit the forward button because they go over the moves two, three, and four times, showing you the correct way to do it, showing you the improper way. So it's very detailed. Uh, if you're looking for just a quick, you know, scratch your head afterwards going, hmm, I wonder if I can do that. This kind of isn't the video. This is a video for someone who actually wants to learn how to do something. And the nice thing about the beginner series is it covers everything from your locations to your first body drags. Then it even goes into your board rides where a lot of other videos, series anyway, make you buy another DVD. This one's got it all covered. So really cool. I'm pretty sure they've got an online app too. Um, but again, really great video. And for those of you that are old school, ah, oh, we've got the Trictionary. This is a book, hardback book. Look how thick that thing is, man. 
Rah, rah, teach me something. Okay. Um, hardback book full of colorful pages and tricks, and it's a step-by-step -step guide. Tons of photos. Really, really, really easy to follow. And this is a great like coffee table or before you go out kiteboarding type of book to have because you can really focus in on whatever trick. And you can play trick roulette with your friends. You kind of just open a page and go, I'm gonna learn how to land blind today. So yeah, it's fun that way too. Uh, all right, man, that was it. Hopefully I'm right at five minutes. If not, write to me, give me a thumbs, always give me a thumbs up. But uh, that was What's Up Wednesday with Roman. See you guys next week, have fun on the water, and uh, do all the things that I didn't do this week. Have fun, everybody.